This is not a wise course of action, Kratos. It was a dream. The visions still haunt me, Athena. The visions you promised to take away. Do not pursue this path. The gods forbid it. The gods have no power over me. You should take heed, Sparta. You will not succeed. Turn back now. You cannot stop me. Nothing can. It's a game that takes place between God of War 1 and 2. And it's really a way for us to basically uh, give you a more complete story of the origins of Kratos and what makes him the person he is. And I think it's also a way for us to basically showcase the power of the platform that we're working on, which is the PSP. The thing that we wanted to do actually is that there's so many of these characters that have been hinted at but that we've ne never really met that we wanted to introduce two of the most important characters, the mother that you will meet at the beginning of the story and kind of understand why and how that relationship went and what happens to her and Demos who most likely is one of the most important characters in the story of God of War and it, uh, it gives you kind of uh, the, the counterpart to uh, to who Kratos is. Demos really becomes the defining character of who Kratos becomes. And he's going to take a huge part of the, the game and, and show you basically really uh, in some ways where Kratos started and why he goes and does what he does. Still haunted him. Kratos! Demos! Come home, my sons! The big differences for us is that the first one was a learning experience for us because we, it was our first God of War game. We had to learn by uh, you know trial and error and get to a point where we understood uh, God of War as a combat game. And I think that the second one for us is very much our way to, a way to prove what we're capable of doing for God of War. And the big difference is that we've added a lot of stuff. I mean, from gameplay and navigation, combat moments, uh, story, uh, new characters, more enemies, bigger enemies. Uh, graphically, we've revamped the whole game. Every aspect of the game that we've done in the past, we've, we've made new again. And I think that this game is going to prove to people that, you know, a portable game can be absolutely amazing and come very close to the real thing on, uh, on home consoles. So, for example, I think uh, one, one of the great things we introduced in this game is uh, called the Hyperion Charge. And it's a way of uh, basically tackling enemies and taking them to the ground. And then you have options to do multiple things. You can beat them up, you can you know, kill them, you can pick them up and throw them. So really another level of the combat basically that we've added. And beyond that, one of the coolest things I think in the game also is that we've given you a new perspective in the way to play uh, God of War. You're used to playing a combat game, you know, removed as a, you know, what we call somewhat like third person removed God mode a little bit. But here we're going to put you in the shoes of Kratos. We're going to put the camera close and give you a new perspective on God of War gameplay. start the game in, on the shores of Atlantis in the sea outside of Atlantis and uh, what you're going to do there is that you're going to first of all discover this land that is uh, Poseidon's kingdom. It's, you know, it's the, it's, he rules over the seas and this is his, the, the, where his kingdom lies. And uh, let's, let's just say that we're going to not only explore the city but we're going to rewrite the fate of Atlantis like we always do in God of War. We kind of rewrite mythology our way. And uh, what I can tell you is that uh, there's going to be something really interesting about the way Atlantis comes to be and what happens to it basically and as it perishes you're going to see why it happens and of course you can imagine it has to do with Kratos. Uh, yeah, I mean I think that uh, you know again like we've uh, we've We've done, this is the fifth game basically in the installment of, uh, you know, uh, the God of War saga. And I think with this last PSP game, we've really maximized the power of that platform. At this point, I think we're at 100%, you know, as far as like the power of that platform is. And, it, and the game really showcases graphically things that normally people don't expect out of PSP. And I really hope that people actually see that and see that difference and see that the future holds a very, very close, I think, uh, link between home consoles and portable consoles. You think you know all that the past holds? Demos! No! Fight me! Every 
Adrian. Did you think I would forget? God of War, Ghost of Sparta.